So, the frost potato, my friends. We have an interesting challenge for you. The short story challenge. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting into real YouTuber stuff. Now, yes, but but welcome. We're gonna write short stories. Two stories, thirty minutes each. Thirty. Wait, thirty minutes for each story, or just thirty minutes for both stories? Thirty minutes for both stories. Okay. Okay. Cool. So fifteen minutes per story, essentially. Yes. Okay. Cool. So the rules are three paragraphs with the beginning, middle, and end, of course. There must be four sentences each per paragraph. A cohesive story that makes sense. You can only have two main characters in your story. No side characters. Only two main characters. You can't have less than two. You cannot have more than two. It must be two. No more than two. Any genre we want of this earth. <laughs> But both stories need to be linked in some way, whether it be a photo taking place at the same point in time in the same area, same forest, same town, that type of thing. Both, b both <laughs> stories have to be completely family friendly, of course, yes. of course, that's a course. no brainer. There has to be one animal in each story or in one story in one story yeah in one, one story one animal in at least one story yes uh and it has to have an interesting title a nice title you have to tie to come up with a title for your story as well so are we allowed to clickbait the title uh yeah but it, at least it has to have some truth <laughs> You can't say, Eldritch God gone wrong, XD lol, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation point. Spider-Man's reading my story? <laughs> yeah, no, none of that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we should also add an element, everything has to be original. Everything has to be original. Yeah, like no outside characters, all original characters and stuff. How okay. Alright, that? that's the last, that's gonna be the last new rule. Only original concepts and characters. There you go. Live evolution of the challenge, right? <laughs> okay. For you, how about this? Let's just rock, paper, scissors for who goes first. Okay. All right. One round or best two out of three? Uh, one round. Just okay. get it over with. All right, okay. so we're going to go rock, paper, scissors, and then just Okay. It. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, <laughs> paper, scissors, shoot. Uh, so who goes first? Who goes first, Leo? You will go first as determined earlier. <laughs> we literally just did, we just did, you guys couldn't see it, but we just did scissors, paper, scissors, and then he did paper and I did rock. <laughs> you know, apparently some people say paper, rock, scissors. And scissors, paper, rock. <laughs> he's just gone. Guys, he, he literally just collapsed on the floor. He took his glasses off and collapsed on the floor. Alright, intro over. Let's begin. <laughs> I shall go first. So, are you going to sit in the room with me or, or what? <coughs> Huh? I don't know, it doesn't really I matter. I mean, I could literally sit here doing balloons. <laughs> yeah, just do... Well, we don't... It doesn't matter. Alright, so we're gonna film... I'm gonna... We're gonna film a lot of this, of course. Okay. So this is gonna be filmed as I go through balloons. I'm just gonna literally put it all in this document. <laughs> okay, so... No worries. What... What fonts do we want to use? Uh... Just regular... We'll just do regular... Caesar dressing. <laughs> We'll just do regular aerial. Regular aerial? 18 aerial sounds fine. 18 aerial. Yeah. Alright, so title is going to be spelt wrong and dealt with later. So, uh, okay, what are, we, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? So, first I'm going to look up the title. Old Norse name word. Oh yeah, we need to get a timer going. 
Oh, uh, yeah, here. Okay. Um, here, I have the title now. There you go. That's one. That's one title right there. <laughs> how do you spell Eldritch? Is that how do you spell Eldritch? Okay, Eldritch. <laughs> this is creative writing at work, boy. Real quick, correct all my spelling errors here. We're only at six minutes in. You're already two paragraphs in. Uh, how many oh. sentences is this? One. Two. This is two sentences. I think we can make this multiple sentences. Three sentences. Earth. I'm making this one a four paragraph one because I got so much time. Yeah. At ten minutes, so I'm making this one a four paragraph one. No worries, take your time, take your time.
Jolly Jerry and the Trolley. Uh, hmm. What? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> oh, I need to start the timer. Let's see. Alright, you've got 30 minutes now. Surprise of small town. <laughs> this guy looks like some kind of Twilight Zone or Left 4 Dead combo. <laughs> right, so what's gonna go on in small town that's so absolutely horrible? You only got you got about uh, two minutes. <laughs> That new feller, a uh, Jerry. Jerry. Along with our town and folks, Bessie. <laughs> Figure crochet. <laughs> Figure made by grandma. End. I'm dropping them though the floor. That floor though. <laughs> First That's dramatic reading now. Do it yes. dramatic reading. The Eldritch Und and the detective. As he peered off into the night, the detective thought to himself, there must be more. <laughs> the cult had taken his life away, his whole world missing, like it never even existed. The cult of the Und. <laughs> All he had left was a mysterious picture of what he could only assume was his son walking away. He wanted a place to contact the Un. So he sought a priest of Umiom. <laughs> Once inside his hut, he stared at 
the strange markings all over the walls and said, Priest, I seek the path of the Und of Yom. <laughs> a voice from the south. <laughs> the priest turned to him and said, why hath thou sought such an evil being? <laughs> to which the detective replied, To gain access to the realm of Hemili. The priest stared right through the detective and became cold, dead, soulless. Then the Und spoke, It is I, not priest. Not man! Und! <laughs> the detective tried to race out of the hut, but the Und wrapped his mind, warped. warped his mind beyond repair. I'm surprised he caught that mistake and not the one I said earlier. You said a mistake earlier? I yes. <laughs> warped his mind beyond repair. The door seemed light years away. As a oon swallowed him into the abyss. Once a oon saw what he had done, he grew weary. His powers weakened. Strength replaced with guilt. The detective once inside the abyss saw what the oon had stolen from him. His entire life flashed before his eyes. As the stolen creature grew near, it was, as the detective remembered it, the greatest gift a human could receive, a child, his own. But as the creature approached, it was not his son, it was the Eldritch Duck of old. Oh, oh. The Eldritch Duck. Now it's Tom for Actually, read. Actually, wait. Why don't we read every other one? So one of us can read our own, and then the other one can read one of our own. Sound good? Yeah. Time for you to read Jolly Jerry in the Trolley. <laughs> Jolly Jerry in the Trolley. Jolly well, Jerry in the Trolley. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what if, what if we do, what if we do, you read one of mine, I read one of mine, you read one of yours, I read one of yours. Okay, you okay. Do do that? Alright. Why not? The gang of Gumdrop Lane. <laughs> Everything is in the south. Hey, voices. <laughs> Everything is in the south now, apparently. <laughs> Mickey, look, it's a cease and desist. <laughs> it's, look at Mickey. <laughs> Go oh, oh, right. Destiny really does hate you. All right. The gang of Gumdrop Lane. His boss had called him up late in the already darkened afternoon. He said someone just made an attempt on a little political figure here. Find him. Fix him. They were grown out of bed thinking it would be another gang violence job. He put on his leather trench coat, checked his gun, and headed out the door. All the boss sent to him was a mysterious photo of the assassin running. No. Walking away. <laughs> the first clue was the alleyway it happened in. A building that hadn't been used for gang activity in ages. An abandoned factory left cold as steel, forgotten. Larry went inside the blue building to get a clue, but all he found were old barrels of oil, a picture of a disturbing duck, and bloodstains. <laughs> he moved from on moved on from the green building to his next clue, his boss's apartment. To try to stake out the yellowed walls of the already bullet-riddled apartment was a apartment complex was a joke. Larry headed inside and found that his boss's apartment had been ransacked, destroyed beyond repair. He made a call and the boss says, I don't live there. I live in Parisville. Even though Larry was sure he had been there multiple times. He exited the refurbished, pale, perfectly constructed building without a trace of gunfire. <laughs> Finally, Larry went to Gumdrop Lane, home of all the crime in both Parisville and Corntown. <laughs> he got there. Well, he got there. <laughs> the boss was waiting. He said, Larry, perhaps I was wrong about this hitman. Maybe you were never meant to find him anyway. 
Larry and his boss parted for the final time, and as Larry went down Gumdrop Lane, its footsteps smashed perfectly with his picture. Walked up to the politician smoking a cigar and checked his gun one last time. <laughs> it was him. He was the one in the picture. It was all oh. him. It was a time warp. Oh. 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 One, one discrepancy I did notice is... The green so, building and the blue building. Yeah. That's, that's the point, is that time is changing around him. The world oh, okay. is mysteriously changing around him, and he doesn't realize it. Okay. The green building, blue building, the yellow building, and the pale, perfectly untouched building that's magic. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Jolly Jerry and the Trolley. Just three months ago, Jerry and his family moved to small town Georgia. He was only 17. Even in small town, love finds a way. On Monday, Jerry went to his high school, too small high. Upon arriving at school, Jerry saw her. Betsy, the most beautiful gal he had ever laid his eyes on. Jerry had been too shy before, but today was a day. He would ask, out, ask Betsy out on a date. Jerry mustered up the courage and walked over to Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Would you like to g go on a date with m me on Friday? Jerry said sheepishly. <laughs> After some thinking, Sure, I had nothing planned on it for Fridays anyways, Betsy replied. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> good, great, uh, I'll see you on Friday then, Jerry had said. More joy than he had ever said with more joy than he had ever felt in his life. After much anticipation over the course of the week, Friday had finally arrived, and Jerry was all hopped up. After school, Jerry met up with Betsy, and together they made their way to the trolley station, then cut a ride to the mall. Look at the beautiful sunset, Jerry said. Jerry said to Betsy. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's just kiss and get this over with, <laughs> said Betsy, with more, with much joy and confusion. Jerry leaned in to Betsy and kissed. Wow. 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 <laughs> now it's mine. <laughs> wow. Now it's time for the sequel. The cries of small town. <laughs> <laughs> the year was 1973. Sheriff Badoom was sitting in his office when suddenly a young man barged in. His clothes were clothed. <laughs> he was screaming, Help! Help! Over at the trolley station, there are weird, huge meatball looking things all over the place. All right. I'll check it out, replied Badoom, with curiosity for what was going on. Badoom walked out of his police, uh, out of his police cruiser, out of his police, police office, and drove off in his cruiser to the small town trolley. Once the station was in sight, he could smell what could only be described as rotting flesh. The sun was setting. And all around the station were meatballs were described to the sheriff. Upon closer inspection of one of the balls, the figure of a boy could be made out. The sheriff knew the boy. It was that new fella, Jerry. <laughs> he just went missing a week ago. When we looked when he looked up from Jerry, he noticed a figure crouched over what looked to be a dog. Freeze, yelled Badoon. The creature looked at him. Betsy, eyes black as an abyss, and a long gaping crack through her head. Tentacles for fingers. Upon seeing what his daughter had become, he dropped his gun in fear. As the gun hit the floor, one of the tentacles speared Badoom's heart, dropping him to the floor. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> Though I oh, did God. do kind of like a good job, like just describing just like how she had just changed. Yes, yeah. I
Oh god, that's <laughs> weird. Horribly out. <laughs> no, it's it's just it's just it's just weird. But yeah, the Eldritch Duck. Yeah. The Eldritch Duck of Carnage. <laughs> <laughs> the Eldritch Duck of old. Undflak. I wanted to do uh Something like, like uh, from the Eldritch Duck's perspective, of, as he stared into the cosmos, his son, the only refuge, you know, something like that. But it just wouldn't, it wouldn't make, it wouldn't sound as good. Mm. As it. Wow, wow, Jolly Jerry and the Trolley and the Cries of Small Town. <laughs> I want to, the year was 2077. <laughs> Sheriff Badoom was sitting in an office when suddenly a young man barged in. His clothes were closed. He was screaming, wake up, soldier. <laughs> wake up, ninja, or whatever. He's just like, John, John, wake up. You've been all asleep. Four years, seven months, ten days. <laughs> now, the Eldritch Trolley... The Eldritch Gumdrop, or some the Eldritch Trolley of 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 the Eld hmm the Eld we has to be what it is the Eldritch the El the Jolly G the Jolly Gang of Eldritch Town <laughs> of Eldritch Small Town. There you go. No, the Jolly Gang's cries. And the detective. The Jolly Gang's cries and the detective. <laughs> <laughs> the Jolly Boys were always all over this place. You can hear him crying now. Uh, that has been this video and uh... Just remember, uh, if you want anything in life, it's going to cost you $3,000 and the head of your firstborn child. And I'll see you in another video. <laughs>